If you're not motivated, it's likely that you just don't care. So a question I get all the time is, Seth, how do you stay motivated to train and to do that and that and that? It's honestly one of the easiest answers. Let's start off this way. There's two types of motivation. There's intrinsic motivation. Inside me, I feel this need to do this thing. Extrinsic motivation. Somebody said something that altered my perception or made me feel a desire to do this thing. Intrinsic motivation. Oh, this is a really cool thing that I enjoy doing. Extrinsic motivation. I bet you I double dog dare you. I don't know, something. So you've got like the ET, the hip hop preacher, and you've got like your gut, right? That is what's gonna lead you to motivation. And, and I think the issue where it gets difficult for a lot of people is that they really just don't care that much. You know what I really sucked at doing? Homework in high school, I was terrible at it. You know why? I didn't like it. I'm just saying. Now for some people, they are extrinsically motivated where they're like, oh, I need to watch this thing or that thing or the other thing in order to make me feel pumped up and amped. But it, what took me a while to recognize is that usually those don't last very long. Extrinsic motivation is super short term if you think about it, right? Ah, oh, I'm so pumped. One thing I used to do all the time, so I played football for years and years and years from, from when I was four till when I was 20. And I always had to get myself psyched up for games. It wasn't until after I stopped playing that I realized that I had to get myself psyched up for the games because I was so sick of getting beaten in the head all the time. Not to say that I didn't enjoy football, I did in a lot of ways, but in way more ways I didn't enjoy it. So what does that mean? I had to pull extrinsic motivation from other sources in order to get myself hyped up to play the sport. Even though I played in college and I did this, that, and the other thing, that doesn't necessarily mean that I was all in all the time. So intrinsic motivated people towards that subject were killing me in football because they wanted to train all the time. They wanted to practice all the time. And I wanted to lose weight and be happy again. <laughs> So a lot of people have that same love-hate thing with martial arts, where it is a grind, it's a process, it's really tough, it's hard, um, and some people aren't intrinsically motivated to do so because why would you wanna get punched in the face all the time? Like, let's just be straight up, it's not for everybody. Why would you wanna push your body to its absolute limits? I personally like this, so that's what I do on a regular basis. I love this, putting out content, creating stuff, getting my butt kicked on a regular basis, so it's easy for me to do. The people who enjoy it, really, really enjoy it, have a way easier time than the people who don't enjoy it. The kid who loves playing piano is usually the kid who becomes a piano prodigy. Now, not everybody's lucky to really love what they're really good at. It happens, it doesn't. But if you're asking for motivation, think to yourself, am I getting extrinsic motivation in order to keep me motivated towards something that I do on a regular basis? Or do I do what I do on a regular basis because I love it? Two separate things. Now, maybe that means you go and find something that you really love, or maybe that means that you just don't fully understand motivation or enjoying the process. The process for getting really good at stuff is really hard. It's tough, it's difficult for a reason. If it was easy, everybody would do it, the old quote, right? But no, the fact of the matter is, are you doing it because it looks cool? Or are you doing it because you enjoy it? It is very easy for someone who is intrinsically motivated to be always be into it and to grind and grind and grind and grind and grind. And then the person who's extrinsically motivated can only really dive into the thing they want to when they have that outside source to help them and give them that fuel to burn. So the way that I like to think about it, it's kind of like a fire. If I have to rely on somebody else to give me wood, it's really hard to keep that fire going. But if I chop my own wood and I enjoy chopping the wood, then I'm always gonna have fire. But if I have to wait for somebody else to give me the wood, then I'm missing out on a lot. So long story short, find a way to intrinsically motivate yourself. Find a way to find happiness in the growth and the process rather than what somebody else's end outcome is. Because that's what a lot of people do is they look at something that's really great and they're like, wow, that end goal is so cool. Whoa. They go, wow, that end goal is so cool. I want that. Let me train, which is okay, it's fine. But what happens is the, if you don't get inspired by the process of becoming better, then you're not motivated to train, you're motivated to be great. And you don't become great without training. Does that make sense? Just go do something. You got air coming through your nose. You got a heartbeat. Time to do something. That's Kid President, if you guys didn't remember. So if you like this video, 
like, subscribe, turn on the notifications, follow me here at sensei underscore Seth on Instagram. If you haven't subscribed already, that means you don't want to be motivated at all. It means you just don't want this. You just don't want it. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe by the next time you watch this video. 